G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. This is part two of three of a dual perspective build 179 game commentary. I am playing from the Marine Commander perspective and Tempest, who is running up behind me in the top right corner of your screen now, is playing from the first person perspective. I've just jumped out of commander mode here because flight control was under heavy assault and I didn't want to lose it at any cost. So I've jumped out of the command station, but I am getting back in now. Tempest at the armory there in Marine Start. And you can follow both our perspectives for this game. If you haven't seen part one, check it out. Part one is uploaded and is awaiting your viewing pleasure. So definitely check that out before you check out this part because otherwise it won't make much sense. We've got a fade in base right now, so I may jump out of the command station at any moment to try and help Tempest and Garvani and Dez deal with this, but no, it looks like we're okay. And I'm deploying a second sentry gun to watch over these infantry portals. I'm placing them against the wall here so that when aliens attack the infantry portals, they may not notice the sentry gun before they begin attacking it. And that way, the sentry gun gets a bit of damage into the alien before the marines can begin attacking that alien as well. My phase gates are up. I have a phase gate between flight control and marine start. And I have placed this in a weird position. I've placed it back behind this resource node. And unfortunately, when I was placing it, I believed that the direction of the phase gate, when you place it, would mean that uh, my marines would always spawn outwards towards the resource node. That is, in fact, not true. You spawn in, uh, depending on which way you enter, the entering phase gate. And it's hard to explain. Best you just play with it in a game for yourself. Uh, the fact the, the the point of saying that is that uh, the Marines coming out of that phase gate sometimes hit the wall and people got very frustrated with me for that during this game they were like NSUHD what the hell man you're an idiot you're placing phase gates pointing at walls I'm sorry I didn't want to recycle it because as you can see our team resources are quite low we only have two extractors and so I definitely didn't want to recycle that and lose the 25% of its cost that I would if I recycled it. So my poor teammates have to put up with that for a while and we will have some problems with IPs later that you'll see. And the point of that story is be careful with your building placement and learn from this video about building placement. You will see what I'm talking about later. There you go, Mayo is stuck there. And so he's going back through and I believe it's uh, someone getting over the microphone now. Scotty, I think, telling me, you idiot NSOHD, what are you doing? Fix your phase gates. We've got a few armor and weapons upgrades on the way. Not sure which one I'm up to now, but I am staying on top of that. And right now we are pretty much contained in flight control and marine start. So it's not great for us, but it's not terribly bad either. The aliens have fades and they haven't been able to crack us quite yet. It looks like we've lost that sentry gun already up there. Alchemy and Scotty pushing into Heliport. Try and retake that. Maybe get the power back online. That's probably not going to happen. As you can see, we've got level 1 and level... Level 1 weapons and level 1 armor, and hopefully I will be going after level 2 weapons any moment now when I tick up to the resources. And my strategy right now, as I'm telling my teammates right over the microphone, is to hold and slowly build up the, the weapon and armor upgrades until we can push to heliport and take a base in heliport and get a third extractor there. And then from there, push and attack a hive. And all the while, trying to scout out and find vulnerable harvesters. I love killing harvesters when possible, and that is definitely my favorite thing to do. Now a note on my armory placement in Marine Start, it is down these stairs, but the idea was I was hoping that Marines would flow out of infantry portals into the phase gate and then use the armory at their destination. Obviously it doesn't quite work out that way and it means having it down there in that protected position means that Marines that spawn can't quite uh, get armed up as fast as they would if the armory was right next to the infantry portals. So I don't think it's a great tactic and maybe having infantry portals surrounding an armory would be a better arrangement. But I'll continue experimenting with that and I will definitely look forward to reading all your comments on this video to let me know what you think about that placement and what you think is better because I take all those comments and I build them up to make me a better commander or player and whatever so that I can deliver better videos to you. Tempest going to work building up that sentry gun for me. Thank you Tempest. Great teamwork there. We have Alchemy under attack from a Fade in flight control. He looks like he's warding that off though. Probably got two shells into it. When you're Fade and you feel the uh, wrath of two shotgun shells you usually back out. At least that's what I do and it's probably what that player just did then. 
Uh, Lua Pineapple and who's something else in there in Heliport looking relatively secure so I should really start dropping some buildings. I only have 11 team resources though. I could probably drop the extractor. I mean extractors only cost 10 team resources so I could drop it. What am I doing? I'm fiddling. I don't know what I'm doing but I should definitely get on top of getting that base happening right now. Scotty saying Com didn't medkit me. I'm sorry Scotty and you know what that's probably inexcusable because I do have 80 personal resources. I was saving for arcs but at 80 team resources you you know, I could spare 30, 40 of that to uh, med up my team, but I'm not doing it, so, hmm, not great commanding there. I don't like, go there we go, getting some meds down on them, and uh, so that, that red squad is being healed up as they push into Crossroads. Scotty and Mayo putting up the power node in ventilation, and hopefully I'll drop a node in there. I'm going to drop a node somewhere. Two nodes is just not enough. I need three, especially as I'm trying to buy all these armor and weapons upgrades, so we will see if I actually finally drop one. Not the greatest commander in the world, we'll see what I do. Tempest engaging two lurks with his shotgun and a fade. Will he survive? No, he goes down to the lurk spikes there, but well fought. Anyone that survives more than a few seconds against two lurks and a fade is doing well. Another marine dropping there. We are under pressure in flight control and a fade is taking out the freshly repaired power node in ventilation. So under pressure on both flanks now. Probably need a third infantry portal as well. I just don't have the resources to do everything I want to do, which means I need to take a third resource node. Another marine going down in flight control. We are widely dispersed now. Not good. And if we didn't have that phase, there we go. That sentry gun has gone down to those lurks. And if we did not have a phase gate in flight control, we probably would have lost it by now but it is, it is providing that vital link allowing reinforcements to move back and forth there i'm going to rebuild that central gun and that is a complete waste of resources don't do it don't do it no 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 there's more valuable things i could spend money on but it looks like i am going to drop that sentry gun I'll have uh, to do it. I'll just have to deal with it in this commentary. The fact that I've done that alchemy going straight in to build that up. I love it when Marines do that. It's just so good to see that teamwork happening on a public server like this. I think it bodes really well for the future of Natural Selection 2 that at this early stage, people are starting to play like such great team players like Red Squad is right now. They're all sticking together. Hopefully they'll all push down to crossroads together. Obviously I can't really turn up my microphone voice. You could hear it because we do have Tempest Perspective and that has my microphone uh, recording in it but if I did that it would be incredibly confusing having me commentating while I'm talking I think it'd be very hard to hear me and hear what the hell I'm talking about in either commentary or my orders so I'm just gonna leave that turned down and guess that I'm asking everyone to move into flight control as a group and then move to crossroads Heliport looking secure again. Two Marines in there. Tempest being aggressive and pushing down. It looks like he's looking for a fight. Never a good idea to push from flight control. Sorry, from Heliport down into crevice. You will get your ass handed to you on a platter by an alien hiding there because 1v1 against the Skulk. Never a good idea, especially when you get a rifle and especially when that Skulk has the element of surprise. Level 2 and le level 2 weapons and level 2 armor complete. And here we go. I'm finally doing what I need to do in here. I've dropped an extractor and I should drop a phase gate soon as well. Where am I going to drop the phase gate? I'm deciding, deciding, what am I doing? Nope. Looking over north towards Crevice. Tempest and Scotty moving up into Crevice, being very aggressive. Alchemy defending against a fade in flight control. I'm still deciding where I want to put that phase gate. Here we go. We might be able to attack that harvester. Instead, Scotty pushing all the way through. Probably better if he came back to attack that harvester. Hopefully someone will while it is vulnerable and while the fades are pressuring us at other locations. What am I doing? I'm getting out buying a shotgun because I believe we have a threat at base. Yes, we do. I am going through the phase gate because I did not want to lose flight control. Getting caught on my own phase gate here. Oh, frustration. Finding out that if I go... That's what I mean. If I go through the other way, I come out the other way. But uh, probably wasn't necessary. It looks like we're okay here. Bit of overkill from me getting out of commander mode there. When you're a commander, sometimes you do need to get out, but that probably wasn't uh, really necessary. I probably didn't need to do that. So I'm back through now and I will get back into the command station and get back to work doing what I need to be doing, which is rallying my troops, giving orders and giving strategic okay, direction to this game. And okay, it looks like Scotty is stuck here and I remember he started abusing me in this game and probably fairly so because I was thinking, oh no, that's okay, he can just kill himself. It's a one-off that he's got stuck there, but apparently he was getting stuck quite often and so uh, he was getting really pissed with me and I would too if I was a player and my commander had infantry portals that were getting getting me stuck. So I will recycle that at some point. It takes me to realize, a while to realize just how bad that situation was. I didn't realize those infantry portals needed to be moved maybe... 
30 centimeters off that wall. I do like the positioning that I did there. I think it's a good positioning and it's just that I put them way too close to the wall. Getting a lot of pistol rounds into that fade. He's probably copped a lot of damage and I ran back in the command station because I was pretty confident that he was going to back out there. But maybe, maybe not. There we go. Going back into the command station now. Yeah, Scotty's stuck there and he's probably going to start abusing me. Uh, any moment now. I just remember getting absolutely abused over the microphone in this game because of that infantry portal placement. We have an arc cannon down, finally using some of my personal resources to build an arc cannon. And way Tempest just killed something there, a skulk, and someone else killed a fade as well. So here we go, green squad attacking with an arc cannon. Be nice to the arc cannon at the moment. It is a very early implementation, and its pathing is not perfect, but it looks like we're going to have an attack now into the crossroads hive, which is too bad because I'm going to cut this off for part three soon. But let's see the start of this attack on the crossroads hive. The alien commander realizing what's going on, deploying infestation very quickly. Infestation, great to have during the fight because it reveals the, marine, the, the marines in the hive site and also provides healing to aliens fighting there. I've deployed the arc cannon very quickly and it is going to start firing. You can see that in Tempest view. The arc cannon has started firing a little bit of combat going on. Marines, Marines start distracting me from micro this battle. There we go. The arc cannon is firing but we have lost the entire Marine squad there and that is the end of part two. If you want to see what happens in the rest of this game, check out part three. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all soon for more in this 2HD video.